often ask me, like, what have you learned from your research? And, and while specifically we've learned a few interesting tidbits, we've learned that uh, cats cannot control rats very well. Yeah, talk um, about that. Yeah, yeah so... Um, I you got some video that we'll I was going to circle back yeah. around to that. But yeah. um, so in a period of uh, months, I think, of uh, continuous surveillance in uh, rat-infested um, areas, so we actually place cameras above the rat runways. And as you know, a rat runway is really easy to predict um, once you find the sebum trails. Right. So rats exude these pheromones in their sebum, which is this grease that they squeeze out of their fur, and they use that to um, mark their te- mark their areas. So that they mark can, and also and form a right? form a map and communicate exactly. Mm-hmm. And um, so we um, identified those sebum trails, and then we uh, we by chance we had seven feral cats in the area. And um, so we let cameras roll. We plan to do some olfaction research, and we're trying to uh, produce rat attractants and uh, potential repellents using their own scents. Um, that's yet another project that's not been really done before um, Once we, when we ha- got started on this. But uh, we were completely captivated by the cat versus rat trials. Mm-hmm. And what we found was um, it probably wasn't shocking to someone like Corrigan, but it was to someone who was somewhat new to rats, uh-huh. and um, it was that cats really were very poor rat control um, um, agents, and I think we saw something like three kills over a number of five months. What about mice? Is it because our experience right. shows that they 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 will kill mice, but mm-hmm. they're not mm-hmm. a good form of rodent control. As a lot of people say, oh, I, we don't have sure. any of that. We got these cats, right. but research shows that that's not really a good form mm-hmm. of rodent control right so um so mice weigh on average like house mouse mm-hmm. 35 grams okay now the uh, average rat we worked on in uh in our brooklyn research sites uh weighed 400 to 600 oh yeah yeah grams so you're talking uh, more than a magnitude of size difference so when you look at the idea that um you know rats they have this nasty disposition they're fierce animals. They're remarkably yeah. athletic. If you've seen them move, their mobility. And now when you compare that they actually carry a lot of diseases, that can't just affect people, but they can affect other animals. So if you're a cat and here's an animal, <laughs> you know, say a, a, a tenth of your size, and it's vicious and it carries yeah. a lot of, like you have to be really hungry to go after this animal. Sure. <laughs> you know, I'll find mice, I'll find little songbirds. Right. Um, you know, I'll go after um, squirrels if I have mm-hmm. to. But I'm probably leaving the rats alone, and that's what we 